Howdy folks. Well, today we're gonna to talk about, a little bit about why my trip is delayed. I was gonna go on a long trip this week, took the week off work, and um, the sky here is fully engulfed in smoke. Normally I have a great view out this valley here, and it's not happening today. We're about three hours north of the Canadian uh, USA border, and the smoke from the California, Oregon, and Washington fires is traveling north. And the air quality is poor. It's at rated about 10. And I was going to drive south, close, very close to the border, to visit some friends in my old car there and do that long trip I talked about. But the, uh, the, the smoke, uh, I'm not going closer to it. It's pretty bad. Maybe it'll clear up here. We'll see what happens. You know, i got to reach out and say that I, I'm thinking about my friends uh, and, and contacts in the United States. Uh, that are affected by these wildfires and it's a terrible thing and I really hope things are okay. We're thinking about you folks down there. So I'm going to use the opportunity to work on my car again today. Why, why not? We all love working on our old cars, right? It, uh, it seemed like as good a time as any to uh, check my valves. I had a ticking valve and I wanted to set it and adjust it before I went away on my trip anyway. So this morning I decided to do that. This morning I tried a different method. I said I'm cold, and you know what, I gotta admit, it, it was easier. I increased my feeler depth gauges to thou from intake at 8 and exhaust at 10. I went intake at 10, exhaust at 12, cold, and it's quiet. I got it right. So maybe we'll just uh, show some of the folks at home. And it's just burning very nicely. Um, let's go down and look at the... Uh, Tappets working. Let's talk about the tappets. What the heck? Seems we got it all apart. The window is removed here, as you can see. I never did put it back in because I kind of like having access here. I guess I will put it back in at some point. Now, if you watch the tappets, every time they flip it down, they spin a little bit. Turn, they twist. You see the nuts twisting? And uh, look at the little pools. I don't know if you can see that down below there. Little oil pools in there that holds the oil. It goes through that little hole at the bottom of that casting where the tap it is. And this area here, there's oil in here. Pool. There's a hole there that fills up with oil and drips down. That's what lubricates the tap. You can see how that oil pool can fill up with sludge. And when it fills up with sludge, you know that's 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 normal with uh, old non um, detergent oil. So you want to clean that out if you're ever going to switch to a modern detergent oil. A lot of folks, you know, pull out their oil pan and then they uh, they forget to do the tappets maybe. Just make sure you do that. I don't know if a lot of folks forget, but I'm just reminding you to do that. Get that oil out of there. I'm going to put her back down and go for another drive. Um, the tappets are kind of shaped in a little, um, they're not perfectly flat. They're right on the camshaft and they're, they're slightly elliptical egg-shaped and for that reason they twist every time they go up and down on the camshaft so I don't know something to talk about tappets and <laughs> setting your valves I'm happy today we got good sound engine well I just did a test drive after uh, setting the valves I pulled the hill home steep hill I've driven it hundreds of times now and I can really dial in and feel the difference in any improvements or horsepower improvements that I make in the car by driving this hill again. And I just finished setting the valves and ended up finding three exhaust valves were about mm, probably one to two thou over spec. I set all those again. I didn't do anything else. I just pulled the hill home and in third gear, which is one to one ratio up the hill, I gained an extra um, five to ten miles per hour climbing the hill I'm impressed holy crap I didn't know that it would make that much difference in a valve set 
So I guess um, a loose valve is going to open late and close sooner than it should. So that's affecting how much um, good clean, not clean, but how much a good cool air fuel mixture can come back into the cylinder. You're losing some power there with the valve lash time, valve overlap. So, wow. Um, I climbed the hill between 35 and, and 40 miles per hour. And usually I'm somewhere between 25 and 30 miles per hour. So big improvement. Woo, set those valves right and wow, awesome. Have a good one.